Hi everyone, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. This is how to hibernate your queen ant and workers. Welcome to the My Living World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. This is how to hibernate your queen ant. So, here are some things we'll go over. 1. Why do ants need to hibernate? 2. Do all species hibernate? 3. When do ants hibernate? 4. When do they come out of hibernation? 5. How do I hibernate my queen ant to a colony? And 6. How do I keep tropical species if I have cold winters? Number 1. Why do ants hibernate? Ants utilise their environment to regulate temperature within their bodies. Ants have different methods of regulating their bodies throughout the different seasons. Some ants will use rocks and stones to collect heat from sunlight. Other species will create mounds with tunnels or even use heat and decomposing leaves. When the weather becomes colder, ants will start to behave differently. Because ants are cold-blooded, they need a way of keeping warm enough. Because of low temperatures in winter, the ant's body temperature will drop, which causes them to start to shut down. Their activity is reduced to a minimum, and they will become almost completely dormant. 2. Do all species hibernate? The answer is no. Not all species hibernate. Depending on what region you're in, in Central Europe and continents that have cold winters, ants will go into hibernation for several months. Ants found in temperate regions will tend to hibernate in most cases, depending on the species. This means they live in an environment with warm summers and cold winters. Places such as India, Florida, Mexico, Dubai, Thailand and Brazil all have warm winters, meaning that the species of ants found here will not need to hibernate. The different climate that these species are found in shows how they have adapted differently to the environment they face. For example, the common black ant, Lassius niger, will start to shut down during winter months. For example, the common black ant, Lassius niger, will start to shut down and go into hibernation during winter months. But if placed in a country with a hotter winter, they would naturally shut down anyway, even though the temperature would be warm enough to keep them active. It would just prolong their hibernation. Number 3. When do ants hibernate? Ants in temperate regions will go into hibernation in the winter months. This occurs from late September or October until late February to early March. Ants will spend an average of 8 months active and 2 to 4 months in hibernation, depending on the species. There are some ants in temperate regions which can avoid hibernation. Ants such as Tenothorax species, like the acorn ant, will spend the remaining winter still in acorns, which usually gets covered by a layer of foliage, providing just enough insulation to keep them warm. The ants' bodies will slowly start to shut down, and they will take a long rest for several months. Number 4. When do ants come out of hibernation? This also varies on the region and the species. Although most species will come out of hibernation around March time, there are some which will come out as early as late February, and there are species which don't come out until April. The species that come out earlier will have to deal with avoiding morning frost, snow, and much colder days. Some species will even invade homes to have a constant source of warmth and moisture all year round, and avoid hibernation because of human homes. Usually, the central heating radiates enough heat to keep ant nests underneath the foundations warmer. Some species that come out of hibernation when it's too cold will often be found wandering inside houses for warmth. Number five. How do I hibernate my queen ant and colony? When keeping different ant species, if they are native to your country, check if they hibernate in the winter months. If you are keeping native species in temperate regions, they will require hibernation unless they are certain species, which might have exceptions. Keeping exotics will mean that they need to be heated all year round. So, what you will need to do with your queen ant and colony, when it gets to late September to mid-October, you can start to hibernate your ants. You will know when they are ready, as they will start to slow down in their movements and activities. They will most likely eat a lot for a few weeks, and then just stop accepting food. It is important that once your queen or colony starts doing this, you move them to a cooler location in the house, preferably a place between 8 to 10 degrees. Keeping these ants in a house with central heating during the winter won't benefit them, as they require hibernation to thrive. Even if you do not hibernate them, they will start to become dormant anyway. Hibernation increases the lifespan of the queen and the colony for many years by giving the ants a chance to rest from their endless hard work. Some queen ants will have nuptial flights quite late, or their brood will develop slower. If your queen has not produced any workers by winter, do not worry, as sometimes this happens. Other queens may have already produced 15 to 20 workers if they had their flights early. Other queens may already have produced 15 to 20 workers if they had their flights early. If your queen does not have any workers, she should produce them once she comes out of hibernation. The test tube or setup that your ants are in should be placed in the dark somewhere cool for winter months, from October to March. You can check on them once or twice over winter. 
but they will not require feeding. Just make sure there is no mold developing and that the water levels are topped up. And number six, so what if you're keeping tropical ants in temperate regions? If you're keeping ants which don't require hibernation, you can either keep them at room temperature if central heating is always on, or keeping them in a cooler house or room over winter. A heat mat can be used to provide consistent levels during winter. The ant colony in the test tube or a setup can be placed on top of the heat mat with something in between like cardboard or in a box so that there isn't direct contact. A thermostat can be provided so that the temperature doesn't fluctuate too much. Another question that is often asked is are my ants dead? If you're keeping ants in the winter months, they can sometimes look dead when in hibernation, as there will be little to no movement at all. As long as the ants legs don't cross over, they should be fine. Although it is not recommended to disturb your colony whilst in hibernation, you can lightly turn the tube to see if the workers start to move, or if you raise the temperature by 1-2 to two degrees, you might start to see activity. Although ants in cold temperatures will completely shut down in the winter months, if a queen or colony has dug further down than that, they can utilise just enough heat to remain semi-active, and will live off the reserves turned into fat. The yellow meadow ants will even sometimes eat the grass root aphids that they use for farming honeydew. So, if you are hibernating your queen or colony in a slightly higher temperature, then make sure that the water is topped up, and you can still try and provide food, but they won't need it. I hope that the information in this video was useful for your ant keeping. If you enjoyed this video, comment below on your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video.